You're with Scott. I'm going to your kid. It's midnight. It's midnight. It's always midnight. It's your chuffing, chuffing, chuffer. <laughs> your chuffer. Chuffing, chuffer. Right, okay. So we're going to play Genshin Impact until my family return home. And they're out of the pub now. Who knows when they're going to return? It could be an hour. It could be two. It could be half an hour, ten minutes. We don't know. So what we're going to do now is play Genshin Impact on a Sunday until that happens. I've got a slightly different squad on. Oh no, I haven't. I was doing it last night and I had, but I hadn't now. I hadn't now. I've changed it back. All right, anyway, let's just crack straight into it. Let's just see what was good. Because last yesterday we were doing this, it went on long. So we're going to have a look at this. When it happens that people arrive home, I'll go, oh, they're home. And then they'll go, what I might do is I might just come on the B-side channel later. I'll tell you a bit of the news. Didn't get the camera. The fucker arrived with the camera. Where's my fucking quest? Hello, where's my quest? <laughs> Just said navigate that, Chef. Wait, let's go over here. Um, he arrived with the camera in the box from Amazon and he wouldn't give it me because you have to have a code that Amazon have sent me. I read him the code, he said, no, it's wrong. I said it again, he said, no, it's wrong. So I went in and took a photo of it on my phone and showed it to him, he typed it in, it's wrong. He's got to go away with the camera, he gets to keep it. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> so that was good. So we're not doing exciting second stream camera today. <laughs> As I had planned, but it is what it is, I guess. I just have to wait for that to arrive again tomorrow or the day after. I don't know what's going to happen with Amazon. I don't know how it works. Uh, but I will get another delivery, hopefully today, of all the accessories for the camera that I can't use. <laughs> uh, let's have a look at what we're doing then, quests. Look, here we are. Let's put this one, navigate this one. And it will, okay, it navigates over there. So let's just do that instead. Look for the submerged cave. Time to act. Well, then I, well this will be it then. <laughs> uh, why does Mr. Roygen's grandpa like to go to the cave? According to the notes, it's the deepest part again. Right, they're talking. I'm not listening to them because they're talking without being voice acted. But I'm just going to go and have a run around and see what's going Body on and wherever we are. <gasps> Like, bear in mind, this quest did take us back to town last, so... I need to bash that with a... Right, there's one. I'm going to switch the squad as well. I'm going to show you my cool new squad <laughs> tactic. I'm going to put Dory, Doritos. She's going to get in. Where is she? Doritos is Come in. Come on, let's go. There's a fortune to be made. And Razor's in. Where's Razor? There he is. Just took, watch your back. just took the dog for a walk as well, and the pop pops are going, and they don't like it. We'll put Candice in as well. What the fuck? Why not? What's wrong? Are you in danger? This is a cool squad. This is. Oh, you can't see any of it because I've got my. Uh, good job, no one's in chat. This has been a really good start to the stream. Um. Firefox. Well done. Well done. So we're in. We're Dory. You know, this, nothing's happened. All I've done is run over here to this submerged cave. <laughs> it's getting hot in here, man. I need to take this top off as well. Been a bit of a disaster stream today. Started it twice already. Binned it off twice already, so I can't expect anyone to watch now because as far as everyone's concerned, they arrived at stream. I did an hour of talking about this meerkat thing and then my family are going to come home at some point. Who knows what's going to happen? It's a funny old stream today. <laughs> Finally getting started at this point here. Right. We're in a submerged cave. Whatever. Thank God I'm not unnoticed in time, huh? Before anything started happening. Right, we're in a submerged cave. This looks like a boss arena. Look for the submerged cave. He's not in this direction, which is weird, because... Like, it just looked like I was following the right... It is a boss arena, look. It's that. I don't need to kill that, because I have no purpose to kill it. Like, I don't need the things it drops, so I haven't been here and killed it. I'm surprised there's not a, a navigation point. Where's the teleporter? It should be here, shouldn't it? Because usually that's the logical... Or is it up above and you can fall in through the hole in the sky? There's light up above there. Maybe you can fall in through the hole in the sky. There's no teleporter close by, though. Isn't that strange? 
Pop Pop's going on outside and I've got two dogs in this room with me. I took them out for a walk just before I started this additional part of today's three-part stream. <laughs> uh, they're not, they didn't have a good walk, i tell you that. They did not enjoy that walk with the Pop Pops going off. They started just as we were halfway around the walk. I thought, it's just getting dark. I better do it quick before it gets... Because you need to take the dog out later in the evening because it needs a wee and relieve itself. My dog doesn't like going in the garden. He prefers to go on the walk. So he needs a chance to relieve himself before he gets settled in for the night. You don't want to do it too early. We take him out on an early walk. He gets a morning, a midday, and an evening walk. And I'm like, so the evening walk now just gets cancelled because of fireworks. That's not acceptable for the dog that needs the toilet, is it? So... Took him out. And yesterday was firework night. I don't know why people have still got fireworks left over that they're firing off now. Shouldn't you have done it yesterday? You fucking idiots. But uh, yeah, they, they're banging them out again tonight. It's going to be like Beirut. Right? I mean, Beirut's a bad example, isn't it? Because no one would be old enough to remember that. But uh, I do. Uh, so it's it's like Afghanistan out there. In a funny, you know, joke about war kind of way. But there's fireworks going off. And it's much, much worse than Afghanistan. So it's not a good joke, really, is it? But you know what I mean. It's like, as far as the dog's concerned, he doesn't know any better. And he just hears the loud bangs and hates the fuck out of it. Right, am I, gonna, I missed that mint, I left it, fuck it. Uh, am I going to get myself a jamunculus here? Is it up high? If it's not up high, it must be down low then, yeah? I mean, I'm not going in the water, that's for sure, isn't it? And it gave me these tingers to get me around here, but I didn't use them, I just ran around. But, uh, lower the water level, it says. Well, there was a... There's a Sealy down there. There was a mechanism up there, but I couldn't go through it because it was a green door. I like how Genshin Impact puts environmental puzzles in your path, but I don't like it when I feel like an idiot because I don't know what's going on. Uh, I'm going to go for the Sealy and hope that that leads me in the direction because usually it will. I'd, I'd like to go through that green up there, the green door, but maybe this is the way. I mean, obviously, I've got tingers to get me over here, and the Sealy should arrive with me. Come on, Sealy. There it goes. And this is in the area that it wants me, so I'm feeling good about this. I've recently learned how to open these, so I should be able to open that. Let's do that. Like, it's, it's telling me to do that, isn't it? Vintage liar. Nothing happened. That's better. And a chest, a cheeky chest. <laughs> I hope you can find some use for these. See, so yeah, I've got some thoughts about the old DSP saga as well, in the back of the old noggin. I'm just going to save until there's more people to talk about it with, because I've fucked up my own stream today by stopping and starting it three times, so this is more just a casual time spent until the family get back on stream. It's not a big one, but I've got some interesting things to say and think about. Okay, it's taking me up there again, so... Fucking stupid. Just been up there, you fucker. I'll kill this. Kind of that mushroom. I want these mushrooms. I'm dead. Do your work. Okay, thanks. Didn't get any. Where's my stuff? That's my stuff. Thanks. What's down the little stairs? Nothing. Nothing down the stairs. Oh, this little mushroom's come for some now. The Temple of Wisdom! Temple of Boom. Get back! <laughs> Can't even hit it. Forget it. Absolutely forget it. Can't even hit the fucking thing. It's up in the air. Right. There we are. This will do something here, won't it, CD? Will it unlock it for me? Rock of Ages cleft for me. No, there's another one. Ooh, there's another one. Right, okay, I can use my magical sight. And it tells me it's that direction. So let's go find a ceiling. 
Has the water level just gone down? I think it has it. Right? What the fuck, dude? Where's the other sea? It's got to be in this environment, hasn't it? It can't be elsewhere. And I feel like the water level's gone down, so it would feel naturally like it's unlocked like another level. Do your worst. So the water level and Sealy combo, you know, I'm thinking is the Sealy related to that? Because I tin pin pin my way along and I went in a little cave at the end. Maybe the cave is different now. There's a tinger. Tin pin. Oh no, I came this way, so it's not the water. I've just <laughs> gone backwards, right. Uh <laughs> said the ceiling was this direction, didn't it? And lower the water level it says stay in this area and I've done one it's gotta be another ceiling in here. Well that would seem right, wouldn't it? I see everything! Here's the good! What's this? Somewhere there! Come on, you team. Killing. Dory, Nahida, and Combo there. Doing some killing. Uh, nice gentle killing from the little, little oh. chuffers. Uh, oh, there it is. Got it. I got it. Stuff that bag will have to stay there. Oh, yep. Did I not jump on that? Okay. Take me home, Daddy. It's not. Does it? That'll unlock the switch. Obviously, just gonna fuck me around just a little bit more there. That'll unlock the switch. Go to the cave below. I said the other day, it doesn't hold your hand, but in, in other ways, it really does, doesn't it? It talks you through the quests. You kind of need that one, don't you? Ta no. oh, fine. It is funny in games, the way the UI, you know, the, the little thing up over there on the screen that says, go to cave below, the map that tells you where to go. You know, these little indications, or it was the old Skyrim, wasn't it? It was the old uh, having an arrow on the compass above your head. Follow the arrow. I don't know what's going on. Just follow the fucking arrow, man. Like I remember Fallout had a couple of them where the arrow was like going this, in this, uh, in this vault, and then you're in the vault, and then there's no arrow now. And I'm like, where's the arrow? Like, does it go back outside? Oh, it's glitched. You know, it's weird shit like that. But sometimes the arrow just that's not going to take you there. You have to do a bit more. And Genshin does a good job, I feel, of sort of saying, look, this is where you're generally going. Now solve the puzzle in the environment. But it doesn't sort of say, here's the environment. I don't know and like leave you for hours just wandering about. Like, it does hold your hand a bit, but only enough to sort of point you towards the things that you probably wouldn't. And there's a nice flow to it. And it doesn't feel like it's sort of saying, here's the arrow, follow the line. You know, sometimes there can be a line. There can be literally a golden line on the floor for some commissions. But really, in general, I feel like I'm thinking myself enough and the game is prompting me enough. And if it didn't prompt me enough, I'd get fed up, I'd get annoyed with it. And if it did prompt me too much, I'd just feel like I was on rails. So it's doing a good job in my opinion. Right, this is weird because I can go out here and that was the door that I wanted to get through but I don't need to get through it because I'm now on this side of it. I'm a bit confused. I'm in the room anyway. Go to the cavern below. Wrong ca wrong room. Where does it want me? It wants me this way. We not, not joining the Eremits and embracing a wonderful new life now, thank you. I'm uh, trying to do this. I want my jamunculus, that's 
prime main thing. Where's my jamunculus? It's going to be up here, isn't it? Halfway between betwixt here and nether. Is it? I can see a glowing green over there. Or is that where I've come from? I'm confused. Oh, the jamunculus is down there, so that's fine. I can always get that. What's that glowing green? Is that where I've come from? Stop playing the thing. Is that where I've come from? What's that glowing green up there? I'm going back up there to have a look. Ah. Ah. I actually can't get up there. Fuck it. Probably not supposed to be messing about there, am I? This is what I want. Give me that. Right, that's mine. Thanks. Vendoculus. Although I recently just upgraded the tower recently, so this is where it wants me. And it'll take me all the way around, and then I'll come back through that door at the top again. On the way back round, like the old barrows in Skyrim. Uh, yep, let's do this. Wrong. 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 What the fuck? Is this isn't the song I remember. I thought it was da 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 da, but it's not. It's da 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 da. A okay, I understand this puzzle. I could use an archer to, to fix it, but I could also. Oh, hello! I love those cubes. The first time I saw them, I ran over to them. I was like, What are they? Can I smash them? Are they chests? And they kicked right off. I love them. I think they're brilliant. Clever little presentation for an enemy. Now I'm used to it. Yeah. Hear my prayer! Hear my prayer! Come, and fuck you all. Smash, 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 Pow. Pow. Now I need to, need to change. No, I was pressing change. Didn't you hear me say it? Feels a bit unfair. The problem with, with Dory and her um, healing is you have to be out to be healed. I'm going to have to use food. You have to be out on the field to be healed. And I'm used to using a healer that heals people in the squad as they're in the squad. So... My problem is that when someone dies, and he's dead now again, fuck, is that I get them out to heal them and they die again. So she's not like, And I did feel that cheating me. You heard me say, pressing the button, pressing the button. I was pressing character number four, and it would not change to character number four. So Razor got killed. It's annoying the piss out of me now, because that's one of my main constituents of my DPS here that I can't use now, so this is going to turn this fight into a nightmare. Grow, grow, grow. Dory's going to have to carry it. Yeah. And this is probably going to be the most, isn't it? Let's go, Kenny. Let's go, Kenny. Come Doing your worst. Get one of them down, and then it's half the damage coming in, so just focus on one. No more mercy. Yield. Oh, that's damage coming in. Yeah. Shit. One's down anyway. And then we need to heal, so I have to charge up some elemental heals. Slightly different playstyle to my usual playstyle, but when I get them all popping off together, it, it, we melt them. Right, there's the heals, but I'm in danger of getting killed. Can't have my healer get killed. Right, there she goes. You see she's healing now, step by step, incrementally. So now I can hand this out. Hand this is starting to heal. I've got magic lamp. But it's only small incremental heals. It's not as good as Chi Chi, who just whack, 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 whack your, your heal. And that's still not on the menu. Right. Fair enough, we've done that now, we killed them, so this should be a piece of piddle. But I'm gonna need an archer, aren't I? Because I can't get up there. Bastard. And I need to heal Razor. Right, let's go in the bag. Let's give him some food. Not loads of food, just a little. Because I don't have loads of food. I'll tell you what, I'm not eating that special on Igiri, I'm keeping that forever. Uh, With enough Mora, you can afford to do anything. Hello, Bob. Yeah, I'm back now, yeah. So, the people aren't home yet. When they arrive home from... Because it's my mom's boyfriend's birthday. 
So when they arrive home, we're having a takeaway. Outrider Amber, reporting. And, like my sister's here. And, like, we're all, you know, that's happening. So I, I'm going to get off when that happens. We don't know when that will be. Could be an hour. Could be ten minutes. But until then, I'm on Genshin Impact now for a bit. Yeah. I haven't, you know, that stuff's just exporting on the other computer. I haven't uploaded it to YouTube. I feel a bit funny about uploading it to YouTube because it feels like I'm, like, making a thing of something when I'm not really trying to. It's just that I don't want it to be, like, disappeared off the internet and people think that I said something and then hid and, like, pretended I didn't say it or anything. You know what I mean? I want it just to be recorded because um, a Twitch only records things for 21 days. Maybe that's long enough, but I just put it on my B-side channel. It's going to go up there. So, I'm not going to make a big thing of it, but um, I think Meerkat's streaming as well now, so, you know, we're not having a, an argument, we're just, I wanted him to hear what I said, so I said it and posted it. I wonder who this gift could be from. Um, what do I get for takeaway? I don't know. They're going to decide. I assume that it'll be curry, and I'm uh, vegan, so I have <laughs> vegan vegetable curry, and I don't care. I, I just tell them that, and they do whatever the fuck they want. They've known me for years. Uh, I trust them that's fine but uh if i'm lucky then we do there, there's sometimes there's there's a chinese but they're not very good around our way there's different ones but there is one that does vegan food and it's like all different vegan food on the menu and the other one that i like is the pizza express because their entire pizza menu now is vegan if you want it so it's not a vegan restaurant they serve animal products they promote animal products they advertise animal products so it's not good that i'm giving them my money but if you have to be part of a group and go along with stuff i prefer that there's a lot more option and it's a lot more forward thinking and of course most takeaways from the orient and from asia are vegan friendly because there's a lot of culture that's vegan friendly out there like they don't eat cows in india uh, muslims don't eat pork like there's a lot of vegan friendly ideas and more um fruits vegetables nature going on you know beans rice pulses out in thailand In some of those countries, there is the idea that you put a bucket in the ocean. This is a Terry Pratchett idea. The idea that you'd put a bucket in the ocean and whatever came up in the bucket you're going to eat because you're hungry. And at, at one point, you know, as human hunter-gatherers, we did start doing that, didn't we? We, did lit we literally started going to like the, the oceans, the rock pools, the crabs, the lobsters, the sea cucumbers, the whatever the fuck else. Like, you know, grab it out of the ocean and if you can try and eat it, you can have a crack on it, you can eat it. Um, like, you can eat a lot of stuff. Like, lots of, like, seaweed's edible. doesn't mean you're going to sit down to piles and piles of fresh, lovely, like, slimy seaweed. You might want to process it, change it, make it more palatable. So things aren't that palatable in their raw form, remember? We have to, like, process them. Even if it's just cooking, cooking's not a natural phenomenon, is it? We do that as humans as, like, a technology. So uh, our ancestors would have evolved eating raw foods, wouldn't they? They wouldn't have been able to cook them because no one would have been able to do fires. So we got fires first, and that changed the way we and that does change our diet and over a long period of time you know we evolved to um to suit our diet i guess and a short period of time we changed to suit our diets but uh, it, it just proves the point doesn't it that like you could put a bucket in the sea and whatever came up in the bottom of the bucket you would eat so there's a lot of seafood in a lot of these um island nations polynesian you know a lot of seafood a lot of seafood in thailand and other places as well japan with all their sushi but uh, at the same time as that you just remove the one fact, you know, the one piece of it, the seafood, and you're left with basically vegan food. And a lot, like, you can go to um, a Japanese restaurant and a lot of the dishes will just automatically be vegan because they're not, you know, they're just vegan. Like, it's not that they're making a vegan alternative. It's just some of the foods don't have animals in them. Like, rice, seaweed wrapping around the sushi thing and a, a, an avocado thing or, you know, whatever. Like, you don't have to have fish on it. So you can even get... I mean, I guess there's a bit of difference between sashimi and sushi as well, isn't there? But uh, you don't have to... Yeah, it's, it's so a lot of takeaway for me. It, you'd be surprised as a vegan. A lot of the time, takeaway's fine. It's easy. You, you ring up an Indian restaurant and say, I don't eat animals. And they're like, fine, got you. Yeah, nor do we. Like, uh, like they serve a lot of chicken curry, but they themselves are not eating, like, um, cows. So, like, it's quite easy for some of them. And uh, the modern world now, obviously, they've all cottoned on. There's a lot of money in it as well. So if you're running a restaurant and you're not serving vegan food, then you're an idiot, essentially. So there's a lot of people that... Uh, like it doesn't matter where you go now. It's opened up from the idea that you have the mushroom risotto or you have the uh, the mushroom lasagna or something. You know, that, that's that gone now. It's Now it's modern food. And if you're a chef as well, 
I mean, it's not so much for takeaways, but if you're a chef in a modern restaurant, then you should look at the vegan idea and say, well, there's an interesting idea. I'm a chef and here's a wealth of different ideas and food ideas that I haven't really explored because I usually do this, I usually do that. But uh, modern chefs should really enjoy exploring veganism, discovering new protein alternatives and um, ideas. Yeah, there's, there's loads in that. So what what do I get? I get today, tonight, I get whatever they're getting. <laughs> they make the decisions and I just put my order in for a vegan alternative of whatever it is. But if I'm lucky, it's the top Chinese. I don't know which one is the top Chinese these days because so many have come and gone in our town now. But um, the one that does the vegan food, if I'm not lucky, then it's the curry and I don't know what you'd call it. It's a vegetable curry. Like, it probably doesn't even, it's not like a boona or an a aloo or a whatever. It's just a fucking, I just say vegetable curry vegan, thanks. I guess whatever the chef's got lying around, he puts in it. Vegetables. Oh, that thing's looking eggy. That's going to be. I'm going to switch to the, the, the normal squad, the hard hitters. The stable support. I will bring my notebook. Let's finish this quickly. And we'll keep Amber for just a second because we're going to use her to burn these uh, pillars. But I will be switching from Amber to a more aggressive character as soon as I've done so. don't want combat to initiate until I've finished. Um, what's going on over there? Bet you can't keep, Bet up, you with can't me. keep up with me. I'll race you there. I have to mess about knocking his stone on. There we go. the last one over there. Told you I'd win. There's another puzzle mechanism over there. I'll do the fight first and then we'll do the mechanism after. So this is all fine. That's burning. That's fine. I'll set fire to this and then I'll change my characters. Quick, quick, quick. Change the characters quick, quick. And we're going to go wet boy. May knowledge guide you. What am I supposed to be doing here? Nahida. Nahida still. Nahida. She's still Time good. Time to broaden the horizons again. She's actually in my A-team lineup now. Let's see it then. Uh -huh. Wrong. That was wrong. Ah. Take your photos first. Now let's get into it. Oh, wrong, wrong. Yeah. Just to heal up first, actually, isn't it? Because we're starting with a few weaknesses. All right, let's go. Let's go. We don't fuck Nowhere to hide. Hey. Melt ruin hunters, mate. Melt them down for scrap, mate. Shit, where's it gone? Where's it gone? I don't like it. I see everything. Uh. See, they are connected now, so I think that I'm doing damage to the big one while I'm hitting the small one. Do that. Them both connections, that's actually really good. I like that. I think it's a really good. But this small one's gonna die quicker. So now I've got a problem because the fucker's up in the air. He wanted me to use an archer, like he told me to use an archer, and I didn't use an archer, yeah? She had luck that lucky that time. Yeah, brain cutter. Hope you get it. Nowhere to hide. Don't blink. Where is it? Fucking hell, what are you messing about over there, you chuffer? No, I'm in the water. I can't fight you in the water. I can't even walk around in it. You dickhead. This is where I needed the archer. Pum, 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 pum. Doing your rock yeah, Change of plan. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Fries. Fries. Look, can you come down? Faster. Oh, okay, so. Hey! She can get you, can't she? 
Actually, you can still get it when you're up there, can't you? No, she can't. Actually, her, I thought even though she's a catalyst, that's weird, her catalyst it comes up from the ground. Oh, so it's still like melee, it's like melee catalyst. A bit like Lee, does physical damage even though she's a catalyst. Like, it's magic, but she's casting it and it's coming up from the ground, so it's useless to me here. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I really need this fucker to come down from up there. And stop doing his repeated attack pattern. Right. Orders given. I'm not going to be able Orders to. Orders received. Go. Now, what am I supposed to do? Uh. Yes, it come down, it come down. Thank you. Now I'm in the water, so I can't attack it, but thank you. I can stand on the frozen water, and we've got an in. So we're going to stick here and just let's try and stay frozen if we... Incoming! Hey! Can't do anything. Change of plan. This way through the level. This is fucking stupid. Yeah. Don't blink! Got it. Got it. That's everything. That's everything. What Let's do you like? I should always ask these questions back to you in chat. I never remember to. You ask me a question, I just reel off what's in my brain and forget to be uh, sociable. But like, what do you like for a takeaway? What are your favourite choices? And probably, if it's animals, I won't be offended because I used to like the animal products too. My favourites was always crispy shredded beef and lemon chicken, but I don't have that anymore. But looks like there are big robot parts here too. Imagine what would happen if Jazzy saw them. He'd whip his camera out again. Ha ha ha. I don't care what this little spearmint R and R says. I just want to get on with this. Uh, the forest remembers everything. You're right there, doggy scratching. You're right there, doggy scratching. You're in here with me, aren't you? Search for a mechanical component. That's it. Found it. Thirty primos. Love it. Uh, there's something going on over here that I wanted to go and have a look at, and then it says go to the designated area. Little cheeky door. Oh, this is go to the designated area, look, it's the way out. So I didn't find that other green door that I saw. Up there. There's a green door, isn't there? Or some shit? Am I tripping? Is there already... I'm pretty sure. Can you team me up there? Team me up there? Team me up there? No. Don't look up a dress, you're rude. Let's climb all the way to the top of this tree without looking up her dress. I mean, you... I just like the camera so I can see up where I'm climbing. I'm not trying to look up the dress. If I look like that, I can't see where I'm going. I have to look like that. All right, there's a door there down there. It's not a door, it's just like an entrance way. All right, come on. There, this. I came through there then. Why was it glowing green a minute ago? Sure it was, wasn't it? So I was up that tree saying, oh, I could see a glowing green door. And then I went down instead and got my thing. This is where I came from. I trip in. I follow the path then. I'll do what it tells me. Maybe there's more chests in here that I'm missing. It's possible, isn't it? It's plausible because we made the water go down, so maybe it's worth a scrub around. That's another place here. This looks like a withering zone to me. Living in an isolated village, there's only one takeaway that will deliver to us a pizza place. But you like it, that's good then. Uber Eats, Deliveroo, don't come to us. It's a bit of a shitter. Uh, I don't tend to, I don't even have that on my phone. I, I let my sister do it. Like, if it's family occasions, we'll do it. Personally, on my own, I don't tend to. Uh, I used to when I was at uni. I used to eat a lot of. Um, tell you what, the one I used to fucking. Uh, I used to do a lot is uh, there was a, on the top of my road. So like, I'd come home from town drunk. You know, stumbling, walking home. And at the top of my road, before I went down the road where I live, there was a, uh, you know, like kebab house. I think it was called... What was it fucking called now? Was it Mr. Kebab? Or like... 
you know, it's had one of those sort of names. And I used to just stumble in there, you know, bleary eyed, couldn't see properly, like, yeah. and be like, cheeseburger boss. And like, they'd do me a cheeseburger, and I'd walk home and eat the, like, every fucking night one of those kebab ass cheeseburgers. Uh, but generally, and I have a small town, so we've got quite a lot of different restaurants, and we do have quite a lot of different takeaways, to be honest. But um, I did used to live in a village as well, and I know, I know the feeling. Of, uh, not even Domino's, you know, nobody would deliver to our little village. Deliver to memory. Job. My, my mom used to like, no, my sword. we had to get had to drive up to the neighbouring village to go and collect, you know, it would be, it would be a, a more of an event for that reason. With sword comes shadow. For a go, just to get And of course, like, it was, there was a while, actually I need to concentrate on this a little bit, hang on. I need to start knocking some of these off. Get this right, can we sort this out? My little team. Uh, yeah, there was a chip shop in the neighbouring village, like, you know, at the road. And you'd have to drive to the chip shop for fish and chips. And uh, it, like, everything would be, like, nearly cold by the time you get back. We used to have a, a McDonald's... I need a fire person here. We used to have a McDonald's... Um, can't use my brain and play at the same time. We used to have a McDonald's 24 hour, but it was up the road, like way up the road, next town. So what you'd have to do is you'd have to, uh, what's going on here? All right. You'd have to, Don't blink. you'd have to drive like 40 minutes to get a McDonald's, you know, 20 minutes there, 20 minutes back. <sighs> if you were too late for the, the standard hours of McDonald's in town, yeah. It's all changed now, all, all the mod cons now, there's a mod, McDonald's at the road that used to be, I don't know if it still is, but all the mod cons now, but, you know, fish and chips is alright though, isn't it? Fish and chips is always good. I say that again, vegan, don't have fish now, do I, so I just go for, generally fish and chips is not the best at the moment, because they don't have so many vegan options, you know, I go for the scallops and some chips and just, just deal with it, but it used to be that fish and chips is always good, yeah. What's going on here? Feet of light. Why can't I? Hang on. What's going on here? A minute to memory. Yeah. This isn't working for me. Incoming. I need one of those floaty, floaty things that floats around. Maybe it'll happen after I've cleared the withering. Hey. Okay. Uh, yeah. There we go. There you are. Big chopper. Of light. Cut to the chase. Let's have you. Grill, grill, grill. Blazing delight. Blazing delight. <laughs> you know those fucking wolf when I was a kid. We lived in this village. And uh, the, the local <laughs> shop. Right? There was a garage up the road that you could walk to. It was literally a mile from my house. Right? Oh my the garage you could walk to. And there was a shop in the village, but it was like a little post office in someone's house. And I, they closed it at one o'clock, so when I got back from school, it was always closed. And, I, if you, and when I started smoking, if you wanted to buy cigarettes, it was literally like a mile's walk to the nearest shop to buy cigarettes. It was such a fucking nightmare. Life goes on. Getting driving was so important at that age, you know, when I was younger. 16, 17. Getting driving was so big for that reason. Everything was out of, out of reach. Faster? Okay, faster. Where's my fucking thing? Oh, this can't be right. What's going on? There's a little hovel here, a little hole, a little hovel hole. What's that for? I don't understand. And where is? There's supposed to be to make this thing so that I can. Oh, now it's grown. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe this puffball will puff at me? Yeah, okay, okay. So now I should be able to. What? Firebomb the puff pool and it'll work. Dumpy, dumpy, no, dumpy. maybe we should have electrocuted it. Okay, we'll nihider it and it'll come back to life. No, it's burning. I fucked this right up. We'll nihider it back to life. No, it goes. Okay, now it's alive. Now I'll electrocute it. And now that will make this. 
She's dead now. There you go. I made it work, but I lost my healer in the process. So, go to the designated area. We are going to have to either resurrect... Are we, I've got some resurrection foods. Confirm. I cooked a load of horrible meat-based foods earlier. Just in case. I'm going the wrong way now. Am I... No, like, this is the this is a little side room to the big room, isn't it? And I did all this, and there's a little room here, and it hasn't got anything in it, so that's just weird for me. But maybe there was an enemy hiding there or some shit. I've done all that. That's got the chest. I'm not missing anything in there. So now I'm back through the same door that I came in to the big room. And the big room wants me to leave, but before I leave, I'm going to run the perimeter. I know it's supposed to be a quick one. It's supposed to be in case people arrive home and there's a takeaway, but this is a quick one. But I'm going to run the perimeter. I can't... You know, I'm not leaving a chest or anything. I've been up here, this is the way I came down, so I don't need to worry about that. The water went down and we got in here. And I'm not leaving any chests hidden in the corners, am I? No. <laughs> They're arriving home right now. Oh, I died! No. Okay, so the options are I come on on the B stream later or we come on tomorrow and crack this and we have a little special Monday Genshin Impact evening stream tomorrow, uh, which might be the case. I've not got the camera because the fucker wouldn't deliver it, so, you know, who knows, because I had other things planned for the week, but, uh, yeah, we're going to adjourn here then. It's only a short one, 40 minutes playing Genshin Impact. Sorry, I told you it would be. They are now back. It is now kickoff time. So... Be good, my little Pukos, and if you can't be good, you're naughty.